Hey guys, and welcome back to our class. So now we are going to be doing our small group math activity, okay? And this is for all you guys who missed it out there. Uh, for today, you can watch it, enjoy it, and do it along with me, okay? So you're going to need a marker. There's my marker. And you're going to need your number board, okay? I made this on a piece of paper. I shared this with your parents. You can go ahead and make this really quick, all right, uh, right before you start working. All right, so you need all of your numbers on a grid and you're going to circle the number that goes with the hungry caterpillars fruit that we're going to count. Okay, now we know the story of the very hungry caterpillar. The very hungry caterpillar was a super, super hungry caterpillar who ate a lot of things and eventually he turned into a butterfly, right? So right now, I have something to share with you. I'm going to share my screen. And here oops, excuse me, is our slideshow of the very hungry caterpillar. Let's count the fruits. OK, so now what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and we're going to count the fruit that we see that the very hungry caterpillar ate. All right, so let's go to the first frame of fruits. Ooh, what kind of fruit is this? That's right, it's a strawberry. Can you say strawberry? Very good. So the question is, how many strawberries did he eat? And we have to count the strawberries. Let's go ahead and count with me. You say one, two, three, four. Can you show me four fingers? look at my fingers can you look at your fingers and let's find four there it is four one two three four excellent work can you find the number four on your worksheet on your little board here where's number four let's circle the four to represent the four strawberries i'll go ahead and do the same when you're ready let's show our work ready let's reveal three two one there it is. There's number four, right? Down, across, down. Perfect. All right, let's move on to the next fruit that the oh, caterpillar ate. Oh, the caterpillar ate oranges. You say oranges. That's right. So, how many oranges did he eat? Can you look with your eyes and count? I just did it. But if you can't, that's okay. Let's count together. Are you ready? Bring your clapping hands together if you want to. We can clap and count together. And away we go. One, two, three, four, five. Stop. He had five. One, two, three, four, five. Can you find the number five on your board? Where's number five? Let's take a look. I'm going to circle my five. Where's your five? Find the number five. Good job. And when you're ready, let's go ahead and show our work. Ready? Drum roll, please. There it is. There's number five. You see it? Number five has a little hat on top, and then down and around. Stop. There it is. There's number five. Okay. So we found the four and the five. Let's see what other fruits are friendly caterpillar dove into. You know what this is. That's right, it's an apple. Say apple. Good job. Now how many apples did he eat? How many do you see? That's right. Circle this number on your paper. I'm not going to give it to you. I want you to find this on your paper. I'm going to look down. I see one. That's right. Let's find it. Circle it. He ate one apple. Where's number one for one apple? Here we go. And boom. there it is. There's number one. Did you circle your one? Good job. There's one apple. Good work, everybody. All right, we're almost there. Let's keep it up. Now, he also ate. Oh, these are pears. Can you say pears? I love pears. It's one of my favorite fruits to eat. And so does the caterpillar. Do you guys like pears? 
you know, pears come from a tree. And we're, you know, we're all different here. We all like different things, but I love pears. You may like apples more, but I'm a big pear guy. And that's what makes us different and special. Now I see how many pears here. Let's count how many pears we have. One, two. Can you show me two fingers? There they are, good job, two fingers. Can you find the number two on your board? Where's number two? I want you to go ahead and circle the number two. Ready? And let's show our work. There it is, there's number two, good job. Excellent work. So we found the number two. We have one more frame. Let's go ahead and click on it and let's see. Oh, do you guys know what this is? This is called a plum. Can you say plum, plum? Good job. Plums are purplish blue. They come from a tree too. And they're small and they're round. They're actually a ball shape, which we call a spear, right? So let's go ahead and count to see how many plums there are. If you can count without your finger, that'd be great. Use your eyes. And if you already know, hold those fingers up so I can see. Ready? We say one, two, three, three. I saw some friends out there with three fingers. One, two, three. Good job. All right, let's go ahead and find a number three on our board. Go ahead, look down at your board. See if you can find the number three. And let's circle it, ready? One of my favorite numbers to make. All right, ready? Drum roll. And there it is. We did. We found it. There's number three. Three is two happy and cookies. We say around stop, around stop. I also like to say bump, bump. It's nice and quick. And there's our three. That's it for today. So there's one leftover number we did not circle. Does anyone know what number that is? That's right. That's zero. And what does zero mean? Good. Zero means nothing. Nada. It means you don't have any, right? Now, our friend the caterpillar had plenty. He definitely didn't eat zero things. He ate a whole lot. He ate more than the fruit, too. He ate a bunch of desserts and sweets and savories, too. And then he got really big and fat, built a cocoon, and then he hatched out in two weeks and was a beautiful butterfly. Guys, thank you for joining me for our small group math. I want you to review your numbers. We have one. Two, three, four, five, and we talked about zero. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.